What's going on guys, TCG Dog here. And all people want to know, can you make money off of newer Pokemon sets? And the short answer is, absolutely you can. And we're going to go over that shortly. But before we do that, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button because I'm looking at doing a multi-part series on how you guys can start making money off of Pokemon. So what I wanted to do to start with is compare some of the products that you can get. So right here, this is a Burning Shadows booster box. So within the booster box comes 36 packs. These things range anywhere between $90 and $140, uh, depending on where you get it from. Then you also have your tins. Everybody knows these. These things come with four packs as well as a promo card in there. And they range about $20. Or so um, you can catch these on sale if at Walmart in, in the clearance section. You might find them for you know around fifteen dollars. Or at Black Friday at Target, they do ten dollar ten. So it's a great time for you to stock up. You also have dollar packs, which a lot of people really like, and a lot of people get really good pulls off of these. These are obviously Sword and Shield. Um, I haven't had the greatest luck out of these, but they're just something you know fun that you can get. And then also, of course, you've got PSA cards, which we'll talk about later as we start going through things. But what I wanted to focus on is the booster boxes. And really because it's going to be your best bang for the buck. You're going to get the most amount out of these booster boxes for what you're paying. Uh, let's go over some of the ways that you can tell if, if these things are real or fake. And I just wanted to point that out. Uh, because you'll see a lot of deals on maybe eBay or any of the other the selling platforms. Um, and you'll see, you know, around 40, 50 bucks. And you're, you know, you're thinking that's a great deal. I want to get those 36 packs and, you know, I might be able to pull some great things out of them. Um, but you need to be careful with those because there's a lot of fakes on the market, you know, from overseas, from China uh, that look the same, but they don't. And what I mean by that is you'll see the you'll see the Pokeballs on these. Uh, that means it is a Pokemon product. And they'll have them all around it. So you'll see them. And you'll also see a really good seal on it. So just be careful. Um, know who you're buying from. Uh, definitely look to see if they've sold, you know, booster boxes in the past. Uh, things like that. Make sure they're reputable. Um, or just go through. You can go through, you know, Pokemon Center directly. But it's going to be more expensive. It's going to be around $140. Um, next, what you want to do is you want to decide on what set you want to choose. Um, I chose Burning Shadows, and there's a reason for that. You want to go after the sets. If you're looking at this from a profit standpoint, you want to go after the sets that are going to have the, the best chase cards. And by chase cards, I mean things you know like those $200, $300 cards. Uh, so this one's got a, um, a Rainbow Rare Charizard GX, which is you know fluctuates around $200. But that's what you know without a PSA grading. PSA 10, obviously, it's going to go much higher. Um, it's also got other you know $35, 40 dollar cards and a lot of ten dollar cards to start really working towards and making profit off of it as well. Uh, there's also other good sets. Uh, this one right here, obviously, was a Hidden Fate set, which everybody knows. Everybody's just is chasing hardcore right now. Uh, there's no booster boxes for Hidden Fates. There's only tens. Uh, there's Elite Trainer boxes, which are pushing around 120 right now, which is absolutely crazy. But hey, if you can find them, I've only seen them at Walmart, and I've only seen them once, and I think that was in like late November. Uh, definitely get those because that Charizard PSA, well, I'd say a BGS 10 Pristine. I mean, those things are pushing around $1,800, uh, which is you know obviously it's hard to get that grading. But what I want to do is I want to go through this booster box. I want to see what we pull, and then I'm going to end the video with an Excel spreadsheet, as well as, um, you know, going through the sites and kind of seeing or showing you guys, you know, how to price your cards. And let's just see what we come up with. Can we break? I actually paid uh, 108 for this. Can we come out with a profit at the end of this video? Um, let's go ahead and get into it. And just so you guys know, the Burning Shadows to, is one of my favorite sets. I think they're, I think it's a, it's a great set. It's definitely my favorite Sun and Moon set. I think it's got the most potential, so it kind of pains me to open one of these booster boxes because I think that it's going to be worth something in the future. Let me look at that thing. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get these packs out. So a lot of people think, you know, there's there's pack luck. And a, and a lot of videos that you see have, you know, the right side over the left side. And 
you know, I, I've actually thought that as well. So what I want to do is I want to go through, let's go, you know, let's go left side. All right, let's move these out of the way and let's start getting into it. Let's see what we can get. And I've never pulled a Charizard out of Burning Shadows. So I'm going to see if we can do it. This pack's open so easy too. I mean, the art on these to me is just fantastic. And I'm going to end up using all of these cards anyways. I like to sell, you know, bulk. I like to sell repacks with a lot of newer stuff. Let's see what the first one we get is. Pacinian. So that's the rare. Left side again. We're just going to keep going to the left side and then, you know, we'll see if the, the stigma is right. These new packs open so much easier than old packs, by the way, if you guys have gotten into them. Actually, I don't think they do this energy anymore. I think it, they phased it out. Rhydon, Noctowl, Mudbray. I've actually never gone through a booster box in one sitting. So this is going to be for both of us. Oh, there's our first GX right there. Tapu Finny, look at this. So let's set you back there. Hey, maybe maybe the left side is it. Maybe that's where we pull a Charizard. I really hope we do. I've watched plenty of booster box videos where you know nobody's pulled Charizard. So let's just hope that's not true. So I definitely want to pull one. I actually, I don't think I've ever pulled a Charizard. Well, I pulled a, a Charizard from XY um, Evolutions, but never from, never like one of the power Charizards. Even as a kid, the only hollow I remember pulling, let's see what we get here. That was the next one. So just a rare. It was a hollow, actually. I didn't even notice that. Uh, the only one I remember pulling as a, as a kid from base set was a Zapdos. So I never had a big pull. Um, I actually haven't really opened many packs as an adult from, you know, the older sets to, maybe that's true. Maybe I need to start opening some of the, the original sets and see if I can get some luck. We'll see what, we'll see what we get out of here though. Maybe I'll turn the entire luck around. Meryl. Esper. Pikachu. All right. Porygon Z. And as I'm... As, as, God, I can't say that word. We're just going to go ahead and skip that word. Azumarill. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. So we've gotten one GX so far. Water. Soul Rock. Dumbbells, man. What are those like? Tens, fifteens? Oh, they need to start. They need to get some at least forty fives up there. Wimpod, Fancier again. Magikarp, a oh, fan favorite. Let's see, Electric Electros, Electros. All right, let's keep going, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this many packs being opened on camera. Uh, a lot of people are doing. A lot of stuff right now with, uh, you know, COVID right now. And they're doing a lot of pack openings. So there's a lot on the internet right now for people to uh, to start enjoying. Uh, to get their minds off of things, you know, going on. Or maybe help with boredom. Metapod. Porygon 2. Ralts. Grimer. See, that dude's lifting. That dude's swole right there. Meowth. See, I'm starting to think though. How many packs have we gone through? Five? And we've pulled one GX on the left side. I'm starting to think it's right side magic. A lot of people like playing Guess the Energy game. Trainer after trainer in this pack. Fan four. Caterpie hiding. Porygon. Ninja guy. 
Pikachu. Whew, maybe I spoke too soon. Man, the pack's heard. It's a really nice Gardevoir. Set that rare back there. A secret right there. So we pulled two from the left side. I think I showed that one a little bit. Are you gonna get out of the pack? There we go. You guys probably saw it. Electabuzz, one of my favorites. Pull another Grimer. You know, I like Burning Shadows not just because it's a nice Vulpix, just because it's got really good chase cards, but also I, I'm a big fan of the artwork of this series for, for this Sun and Moon. Uh, big fan of the Hidden Fates artwork as well. And maybe it's because Hidden Fates is where I, or not Hidden Fates, uh, Burning Shadows is kind of where I got back into this. Maybe that's where, or that's the reason why, you know, I like it so much. Go escape rope, horsey, mud bray, ladybug, hoop hoop, another vol picks, palace sand. Let's see if we get another one. Cool GX right there. Left side starting to come in hot. I do have sleeves for all these. I don't know why I'm not using them. Go ahead and sleeve these up, especially this really nice Gardevoir. So we talk about PSA. Uh, PSA generally, you know, a lot of people like to send, send cards off too. Uh, but when you talk about, when you look at this from a profit standpoint, is this Gardevoir right here is probably, I don't have that off the top of my head, but I would say maybe around $10 for this card. So is it really worth you, you know, spending that $30, $40, $50 dollars to send this off uh, when it's going to come back in a few, you know, in a few months, depending on what you choose? Um, for really the PSA might end up making it worth what you paid. So it's just one of those things this is what I wanted to talk about, you know, for PSA cards and what to send off. So if you guys are considering sending off stuff, even your old cards, um, you really need to go online and look to see what those cards are going for in a PSA, um, you know, eight, nine, 10, uh, just because, you know, you pull this card, right? Let me, let me just look at this card. Uh, this card right here doesn't mean, you know, you can see some edge whitening right there. You can see some edge whitening up here. That doesn't mean it's going to come back as a 10. It, it still might, but you just don't know. And the value difference between a, a 10 and a 9 is absolutely astronomical. Another pants here. Magic Carp. Mud Bray. Rattata. Beware. And, oh, two Bewares back to back. How cool is that? I don't think I've ever seen that before. All right, let's keep going. Noctow. Some shush. Sneasel. Venipid. Horsey. Cutie Fly, another Elective Buzz, and another just rare. But we're not doing bad for, for this side. We've at least got one secret so far. Hopefully pull at least a few more. Hopefully pull one of the good ones. Curlia, Stuffle, another Crab Brawler, Morrill, Sandy Gast, he looks angry, Venipede, Ralts, and a Persian. I don't know if I'm just overlooking regular hollows, which is a possibility. I, don't know, I started opening that one off camera. Um, or what, but I feel like we just have not seen really any hollows. I feel like that's so weird. Another Porygon. Metapie hiding behind a tree. He's angry. 
Rialu, Meowth, Strolling, Vulpix, Wimpod, Ruckish, and a Butterfree. And this is a lot of packs. Not that I'm complaining because this is you know, an absolute blast to do. $100 worth of packs right here. We're, we've got exactly four left on the left side. So let's keep going. I really hope we pull some good cards. I mean, if we pulled the Charizard out of this, uh, that right there would double what we paid for this box. But, you know, I've seen plenty of people pull or not pull a Charizard at all, which we've already talked about. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Just was just speaking of how I'm not getting any hollows. I've seen plenty of people, you know, not pull Charizards. I mean, same with Hidden Fates. Like, I've seen people open up, you know, well over a thousand packs and not pull that Charizard. That's, I mean, that's why these cards go for so much, though, is, you know, it's not like the, you know, back in the day where, you know, you might pull two Charizards from the base set booster box. Um, or, you know, when you start talking EX days, uh, when you talk about, like, Gold Stars, it was one gold star every two days, or not two days, sorry, every two boxes. There we go, nothing. Which is, I mean, that's absolutely crazy. Two booster boxes, one gold star. Let's keep going, Cedra. Kind of looks like dreads on her, doesn't it? Venipede, horsey. Cutie fly again. Ladybug. Grimer. Let's see what we get. It's regular rare. And even the bulk out of these, it's not, you know, you've got these power cards back here, as like I like to call them. Uh, you got all these great cards, but you know, the bulk and stuff still still sells. And that's what I'm gonna show you guys at the end is you know you you might not make everything for or make back everything you put into one of these boxes uh, but you you know you can at least i want to say make back a large portion of it and we'll definitely go over that when we when we shift over to the computer at the end and we kind of go over some things sandy guest just regular rare because what a lot of people do too is they'll see cards like that and they'll go straight to you know sites and they'll look these cards up and be like oh somebody's got it listed right now it's a three hundred dollar card and just because it's listed that way doesn't mean that's you know what it's selling for either and we start with a pikachu on the front it's a, it's a good sign quick there's that pikachu no bat, D Piper, Tangela, Rhyhorn. Let's see. Ooh, there we go. Another GX. So we were on a drive around there for a little while. But ho, oh, GX. Put you back here. So right now we're looking at we got four GXs. We got one secret. Alright, guys, we are officially on the right side. So we haven't got a Charizard yet. Obviously, it's not in the back. Uh, you know, I probably would have been a little bit happier. <laughs> but let's see if now, let's see if it's true. Right side magic. Is it a thing? Ooh, this one's got that one right there. Look at that line. Can you guys see that in the camera? It's interesting. You know, a lot of people go for uh, misprints that are still in the newer sets. Like, the cards will be cut off, like, maybe... It'll be shifted up and keep an eye out for those too because those actually go for a decent amount. So, this is the first pack on the right side Wimpod, Volpix. Let's see. Well, Hollow Vile Plume. All right. So, we've got another Hollow. Or what do we got? 
Lunatone, right on. Vulpix, Raltz. Grimer, I don't know, it looks like he's like, he's like running away from the police or something. Sneasel. Panpour, and another Gardevoir, obviously. It's a full art, so that's nice. All right, so this is our first one from the right side. So right now we've got five total GXs. Just want to point out, I really like the this vile plume. Just sitting, I don't know, it's just really nice hollow. Like I said, maybe it's biased. All right, it's lightning because I like this set so much. You know, if we did pull a Charizard, I probably would send it off to 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 Beckett just to see what it comes to back as. But that's a big if. That fish. Smiling at something. It's, it's mocking us for not pulling a Charizard. That's what it's doing. I still think I, I probably do like Hidden Fates more. I don't know what you guys think. Um, but I, more than, you know, Burning Shadows. But maybe it's just because you get all the shiny cards. You know, and instead of reverse hollows. But if I were to choose any set that I would focus on for, you know, merely for profit, would definitely be from Sun and Moon, would definitely be Burning Shadows into the hollow. Just got stacks over here. Fire, Electabuzz, Noctowl, Horsey, another horse. Hoot hoot. Ooh, that's a really nice Raichu. And Raticate. I really like that Raichu. Come on, I, we can pull a Charizard. I have faith. I know some of you guys are probably like, bro, you're not pulling a Charizard today. I'm sorry. But I like to have faith. But I'm also the one that, you know, you know, paid for these. Caterpie. Let's see. Ah. Shinotic. So maybe we got left gas. Keep pounding through it. I'll send one there so you guys can see. Just eating away at these. And there's not one that's here. There we go. Should have worked out today. That's what it was. Mount. Grimer. Sneasel. Meowth. Stuffle. First hollow Cedra and a really nice nine tails, not hollow, but really nice. Code card. If you guys use any of these code cards, definitely uh, leave a comment. You know, let the people know that you know you used them, uh, just so they don't you know go through and what did I do? Do a card trick? I guess not. Whew. It's okay, guys. We didn't need the card trick. Man, there we go. Another secret. This one's super nice. Love the rainbow effect on these. But yeah, leave a comment. Uh, let others know that you used them uh, so they don't go on there and try to try to use them. All right. So we've got two. That's it. Yeah, two from the right. GXs. Come on, Charizard. I know you're hiding somewhere. Tormenting spray. It's because it's tormenting me not getting that Charizard. 
Rhyhorn, Ralts, Tangella, Versala Ninetales, the same one we found earlier. Even the reverse hollows in this are, are nice. Maybe we had better luck not doing the card trick, but a lot of people like trying to guess the energy. So, escape rope, mud ray, ladybug, hoot hoot, volpix, tormenting spray, and non hollow again. It's got mounds of cards over here right now, so I'm not doing any organization. Ah, come on now. What a terrible pack opening. Sorry about that. That was brutal to watch. It's brutal to do. <laughs> All right. Leaf. Poke Town. Just Clops. I feel like this is the first Charmeleon we've gotten. And we're well over halfway. And Slowking. Really nice Slowking, though. A much cleaner, much cleaner opening. All right, let's go. Wishful Baton. Oh, Sophocles again. Not the cool one, though. But we got back there in the back, Charmander. Porygon shooting his gun. Stuffed Meryl. Noctowl. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six left. Let's go. Maybe we'll get that last pack magic too. Water. Weakness policy. I'm getting a little weak. I'm not pulling this Charizard yet. Sandy Gast. Horsey. Reverse Hollow Meowth. A Tangrowth. Come on now. Don't tease us like this. All right. Got that lightning. Gloom. Lunatone. Wick. A spur. That Pikachu. Dupider. Persian reverse hollow and a weevil. Let's move these out of the way. So as you can see, you see you're really not guaranteed anything out of these. Just like just like childhood, you just never know what you're gonna get. You know, except those could be weighed back then uh, when we were kids. Didn't know that until I was an adult that people used to weigh packs. That's probably why I never got anything as a kid because they were already all gone. Some fire, Guzma. Get a mess over here. Sock. Mudbray. Odd dish. Reverse hollow. Nice butterfree. Come on, behind butterfree. Ooh, so it is a hollow. All right, three left. Can we pull a Charizard with three left? It's possible. I like to hope it's possible. <laughs> All right, then weights again. Seedra, Cutie Fly, Duskull, Inke, Stuffy, Reverse Hollow, and Toxic Croak as the rare. All right, two left. Come on, Charizard. All right, come on. Unitone, Olivia, Sock again, Socking back there. Oddish, really sad Charmander. His, he's in the rain right now, his tail's gonna burn out. He needs to go hide somewhere. 
Reverse Hollow, come on. And last pack. Can we get last pack magic? This one's a little bent too. Come on now. Let's see. Let's just go through this one. Eh, we'll do it. We'll do the trick. It's going to go through a straight since we got that guy off of it. All right. Come on. Dust Clops. Cutie Fly. Pantsier. Magic Carp. Rattata hanging out by the water. Wimpod. Semipor. And a hollow Porygon Z. So we did not get a Charizard out of this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shift over to the computer and we're going to look at all this stuff. We're going to add everything up and let's see what we come out to. Hey, what's going on, guys? So we're back over here at the computer. Uh, one of the things that I failed to mention uh, when I was talking about, you know, other things that you can purchase is the Elite Trainer Boxes. Uh, they come with eight packs. They also come with a stack of energies, a bunch of other things, as well as sleeves, which are always pretty cool. Um, generally, they go for around $40. Uh, the newer ones, yeah, you can see right here, the newer ones are definitely at $40. Uh, you can find these pretty, pretty cheap every now and then. Uh, I'm on Target right now. And they're going for twenty-seven forty-nine. Uh, I want to say it's similar with Walmart. Trolling Toads around uh, the same price. But keep an eye out for these because they go up and down. I bought uh, a few in late December for right around uh, twenty dollars a piece, which you really can't beat. But for forty dollars, it's still for eight packs. It's still not as good as you buying a booster box. All right, so I wanted to you know kind of go into the pricing and where we fell at. But I also wanted to talk about um, what I was talking about earlier, which was the fact that, you know, there are fake products out there. Um, and I would say this is one of them. So you can see this is $40. So if you didn't know this, you'd be like, man, this is $40 for this, for this booster box, 36 packs. Like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and buy this. Guys, got okay, 100% feedback, you know, okay. But you start reading at 324 pieces. All right, that's an interesting way to, you know, label this. But also, it's just stock photos. You can get these from anywhere. Uh, so this is the stuff I would I would probably stay away from because it's probably the fake Chinese made uh, packs. Yeah, definitely stay away from this because this is a you're not gonna find a booster box for forty dollars. But anyways, let's take out these. All right, so for cards. So this is the layout. I use I generally use TCGPlayer.com. Um, it's going to be one of your best bets for market price. Uh, it's going to be pretty fair too. So this is Burning Shadows. You can actually come over here. You can whatever you want to click on: Hidden Fates, Cosmic Eclipse, uh, Sword and Shield. It goes all the way to base set with Shadowless base set pop series. Anyways, so I've got it set for Burning Shadows, and then I've got it marked from most expensive to least expensive. As you can see, if we would have pulled that Charizard GX, we would have been around two hundred dollars. So we would have doubled what we had originally into the box but that's not the case so the first card we got was Gardevoir GX uh, this secret we only pulled one secret I actually misspoke earlier it was just a full art on that Sophocles that's okay but what I like to do also is I like to use this site but also the sites I'm gonna be selling off of and look at you want to go over here so this is my set right here let's just type in Gardevoir GX burning shadows I already did that Oh, it's, it's because we're in my still. I do not have a card for GX Burning Shadows, as you guys can see. All right, so this is uh, these these aren't the the secrets, but anyways, this is what not really what you want to look at. You want to come down here. You want to come to the sold items because you can, like I said earlier, uh, while I was opening packs, you can list anything for any price. Like I could list this card for two hundred dollars. It doesn't mean that's what it's going to come to. But you could tell, so somebody, you know, best offer was accepted. Uh, it's probably like 12 bucks, uh, but they also paid $3 in shipping. Um, and just come down and kind of start comparing of where you see some pricing at. And then I also go to Macari because I also have a Macari store. I use both Macari and eBay. I think they're great. I actually really like Macari. Um, they started changing some stuff recently, which is interesting. 
Um, definitely not in the seller's favor. Uh, but let's see what we have over here. All right, so not many. Um, so we got this one. So this one sold for $20 with free shipping. Let's click it to see. So that was posted years ago. So that's not even a good, that's not really a good reference at all. Um, yeah, so I would probably price it, you know, anywhere between 10 and $15. But that's just an example of what you need to do, uh, what you need to look at when you're, you know, you're pricing your cards. So let's come over here to what I've got. So I put 15, you know, as a high, but, you know, that was probably, you know, it, it probably should be around 12. And then the rest were just a mix of uh, between TCG as well as Macquarie and eBay that I used to kind of just average them. Because obviously there was some that went for higher. Uh, like there was a, a Ho GX that sold for like $17. Uh, and then there was some that sold for, you know, $4. So I kind of just go in the middle. Um, it's, you know, it all depends on what the person on the other end is, is wanting to pay. Uh, hollows, hollows don't go for as much as people think. It's not like in the day where, you know, there was only hollows. Uh, so I put about a dollar each, rares and reverse hollows, about 50 cents a piece. And then I've got bulk, um, which I broke down into usable and non-usable. So you're probably thinking, you know, what is non-usable bulk? And that's just stuff that people don't care about. For example, energies and trainers. Nobody cares about energies and trainers when they're trying to buy bulk. They just want, you know, commons and uncommons. So I counted about 246, so it comes out to about, I would say averaging about $25 uh, is what I was seeing about bulk go for on eBay um, for, I mean, there were some that were going up above 30 um, for around 250, but I mean, you also see a thousand bulk, you know, sell for, you know, 50 bucks all the way up to a hundred bucks too. So, I mean, you just never know. And like I said, that comes down to what they're, what the, what the buyer is looking for. And so the total I came up with was, it's so rough, is $101. So like I said, I paid $108. That was with free shipping. So, you know, really we had a loss of $7. And that's if we sold everything at this price. So, I mean, this could have gone another way. We could have gotten a, you know, a Charizard or one of the more expensive GXs. Or not GXs, one of the more expensive secrets. And this price could have been a lot higher. But those are just things that, you know, you go know, you got to account for her. if you're doing this from a profit standpoint, I would probably stay away from newer product, um, like, you know, just sealed newer product. Because really, you can take a loss a lot easier than you can take profit. What I would recommend doing is going and looking for lots, like on eBay. So let's, let's see what we can find. So I'm going to take this off of sold. Did I pick up? Let's just see what we find for Pokemon lots. This is stuff I was going to go in another video, but I feel like this would be a great thing to just go over while we're here. This is a five hundred. She has a ninety dollars. See a lot of this. You know, I'm not really seeing much of anything. This is a two hundred card pack. You see, like this, six reverse chances, reverse hollow chances, like three dollars. I don't know what I would need this for, or how I could turn profit of it, or over for those energies. Nobody's really buying those, but you just let's actually let's go to sold. Let's see what people have bought. That would be a good step back. Um, five hundred and thirty-five dollars, man. This looks like a lot of base set. You can tell from right there. Really not seeing anything good. You know that I probably would have would have purchased. Let's see what this is. Hmm. Bunch of rares. So that's a decent amount of EX and GX. And somebody bought this for thirty-seven dollars. Okay, so this would have been something if you're looking for, you know, to turn profit off of. I think this is this would be a pretty decent one. So we've got 650 cards. So that's range from old to current. Yeah, because he did see some EXs. So I guess he counts that as, as an old set is EXs. 500 commons, uncommons, 25 rare, 35 common hollows, 10 uncommon hollows, 35 rare hollows, 
trainers so well and then 15 ex gx cards and it sold for 37 dollars with free shipping and you could e easily you know turn this into smaller bundles for yourself and make profit so i mean you could do you know 150 commons and comments with maybe like three EXGX, a couple hollows, reverse hollows, and a bunch of rares, and throw it on there and, you know, probably sell it for, you know, $25, $30. And those are the things you need to look look for, you know, on eBay or Macquarie, Facebook, any of those different uh, venues, and go from there to make your profit. I would definitely recommend, you know, staying away from sealed product, but that doesn't mean you can't buy a sealed product as an investment for later. So, like, if you go to the Pokemon Center right now, uh, Burning Shadows is is you know you can't buy it anymore it's all just whatever's on the internet or whatever people have still in stock but you never know where, where's it going to be in five to ten years so you could, you could look at this as short-term and long-term investments but anyways i hope you guys uh enjoyed the video i hope you learned something on you know what to kind of look for for a new product as well as you know ways to make profit can you make a profit i hope those answered your questions um definitely going to look at doing more parts to this uh, to see what i could do what i could come up with for you guys uh, to try to start turning profit, you know, on the side, or maybe you want to, maybe, maybe you're retired, or maybe you just love Pokemon, and you just, you know, want to do this as a side game and make some profit while you're collecting, and those are the things I want to go into, um, I'm big into the vintage, and if that's something you want to see, it's the vintage side for this, uh, definitely let me know in the comments, um, I really appreciate it, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, 